Today's game tells me that national team football is absolutely fascinating. Club football increasingly distances open up between giants who are competing for the, sil the, the silverware and the rest. In the national team game, we're seeing, as we've seen with some of the, these results, we're seeing an opposite dynamic. We're seeing a world in which almost anyone can beat anyone. And the United States, I thought, were probably the better side today against England. Might be a little bit of a concern for them that they've been the better side for most of their two games that they've played, but they've created quite few chances. But still, they're a growing force with a team that looks to do well in four years' time when they're co-hosting the tournament. But I think the big lesson that I'm taking from this first week of the World Cup is how wonderful national team football is, not just because there's that feeling of representation, that feeling of people being represented, but also because there's that factor of unpredictability that we've enjoyed so much during this first week. Right, and Tim, we saw that with Argentina when they went up against Saudi Arabia, didn't we? I mean, there was a piece in the Financial Times written by Simon Cooper, their, their sports journalist, uh, soccer journalist, actually, and he made the point that great individual players in the Argentine team, but not as a, as a national team. Well, what a fantastic result for Asia, which had started the competition very badly. Uh, and uh, the boldness of the approach of the Asian team was remarkable. Right from the start, they, they took risks, defending with a very high line. It could have gone wrong for them, but they made sure that the game was uncomfortable for Argentina. They stopped Argentina from playing the kind of game that Argentina wanted. And for that courage, I think they, that they thoroughly deserved their victory. Uh, a terrific result for, for Asian football and a terrific result for the tournament because we thrive on surprises like this, especially when they're deserved, when they're not done by the spoilers, by a team of bats hanging off their own crossbar. In the same spirit that Japan came back and beat Germany. A wonderful game, a wonderful result, very good for the game of football, that it's not predictable.